Richard Widmark first caught my attention with his memorable portrayal in a classic film. He left a lasting impression with his distinct style and talent. Whether it's his iconic roles or his undeniable charisma, he remains a beloved figure in cinema. Share your favorite memory or experience with him in the comments below. And stay tuned for some interesting facts about his life and career. There's a lot more to discover. Richard Widmark was a prolific actor known for his roles in various movies. Some of his must-watch films include Kiss of Death, where he played a chillingly memorable villain and knight and the city showcasing his talent for intense, gritty characters. Another notable movie is Panic in the Streets, a gripping thriller set in a race against time. For those new to his work, starting with Panic in the Streets can provide a glimpse into his compelling performances. Following up with Kiss of Death offers a deeper appreciation for his versatility, especially in portraying complex antagonists. Knight and the City further underscores his ability to command the screen with his presence. Richard Widmark's filmography boasts several other notable projects, including Judgment at Nuremberg, a powerful courtroom drama, and Broken Lance, a western showcasing his range in diverse genres. Overall, diving into Richard Widmark's filmography provides a journey through compelling narratives and unforgettable performances, making it a worthwhile exploration for any cinephile. Richard Widmark portrayed different characters in various films throughout his career, in Twilight's Last Gleaming, he played General Martin McKenzie, commanding General S.A. He was very particular about his scenes, insisting on doing everything himself, even shots where a stand-in might typically be used. Similarly, in Kiss of Death, he portrayed Tommy Udo, a role he reprised in a radio adaptation of the movie. His commitment to his performances was evident in his insistence on accuracy during filming. In the Alamo, he took on the role of Colonel Jim Bowie, despite initial misgivings about being miscast. Despite the challenges, he persevered through threats of legal action and had his lines rewritten during filming. This determination underscored his approach to his craft, emphasizing his dedication to his roles. His career spanned various genres and characters, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Despite challenges and initial doubts, he remained committed to delivering authentic performances, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. Richard Widmark found solace in a mansion in Roxbury, Connecticut during the 1950s until his passing. The estate became a significant part of his life, offering a private escape from the Hollywood spotlight. He cherished the tranquility and seclusion Roxbury provided away from the busy film sets and public scrutiny. Widmark's influence extended beyond movies into literature. Crime novelist Donald E. Westlake drew inspiration from him, adopting the pseudonym Richard Stark for his Parker novels. This nod showcases Widmark's impact on individuals in various creative fields, emphasizing his importance beyond acting. Widmark hailed from diverse backgrounds with a Swedish father and an English, Scottish, and Irish mother. This mix shaped his unique persona on and off screen, adding depth to his identity. Fans and historians appreciate this detail, providing insight into Widmark as a person, not just an actor. In summary, he wasn't just a Roxbury resident, he was a significant figure in the film and literary worlds. His mixed heritage enriched his character, making his story intriguing to many. Richard Widmark left a lasting impression on the silver screen with his role as Tommy Udo in Kiss of Death. Bosley Crowther of the New York Times praised his performance, noting his impeccable timing, tension, and a voice resembling filthy water down a sewer. In The Way West, he portrayed Lige Evans alongside a talented cast featuring Oscar winner Sally Field and four Oscar nominees Kirk Douglas, Robert Mitchum, and Sam Elliott. The film showcased his presence among experienced actors. In Panic in the Streets, he shared the screen with Jack Palance, whom he regarded as the toughest actor he ever met. He admitted feeling physically afraid of Palance, acknowledging the intensity he brought to his performances. These instances highlight Widmark's ability to seamlessly integrate into diverse roles, showcasing his skill in embodying characters across different genres. His work in these notable films demonstrates his talent as an actor. Throughout his career, Richard Widmark portrayed various characters. In The Way West, he played Lige Evans. There were tensions on set due to conflicts between Robert Mitchum, him, and Kirk Douglas. Douglas's desire to take control from director Andrew V. McLaglen caused friction. In Panic in the Streets, he took on the role of Lieutenant CMDR, Clinton Reed. The movie later had a radio adaptation on Lux Radio Theater, with him reprising his role alongside Paul Douglas. 
as Colonel Jim Bowie in the Alamo, his involvement stirred rumors. Mayoris Zolotow's account in John Wayne's biography mentioned an incident where he allegedly objected to being called Dick instead of Richard in a congratulatory ad by Wayne. However, he firmly denied these claims. His career encompassed diverse roles, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. Richard Widmark, known for his roles as heartless killers and bigots on film, led a different life off screen. He lived in Hidden Valley, California, and a farm in Connecticut during his later years. Despite his portrayals, he denounced violence and the use of guns. He even felt sorry for taking a trout's life while fishing. During the filming of No Way Out, he apologized to Sidney Poitier for delivering racist lines. In Yellow Sky, he played dude alongside Gregory Peck and John Russell. The film is praised for its clever and inventive take on the Western genre with a memorable final shootout. His career spanned various roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. His ability to embody characters endeared him to audiences worldwide. His performances often left a lasting impact, resonating long after the credits rolled. He was not merely an actor. He was a storyteller, breathing life into every role he inhabited. With each character, he delved deep into their psyche, bringing forth layers of emotion and authenticity. His journey from portraying villains to championing compassion is a powerful example of art's ability to transform hearts and minds. Richard Widmark's story serves as a reminder that behind every character lies a rich human experience waiting to be explored. And thus, his story lives on, immortalized in the countless characters he brought to life on screen. Richard Widmark, known for his role as Colonel Tad Lawson in Judgment at Nuremberg, portrayed Brigadier General Telford Taylor, a significant figure in the Nuremberg trials. Later in life, he became a prominent as constitutional lawyer, actively opposing McCarthyism and the Vietnam War. Taylor, encouraging Abby Mann to write about the trials, served as a technical advisor for the 1959 TV adaptation on Playhouse 90. Elected president of his high school class, Widmark also wrote for the school newspaper. During the filming of No Way Out, he hosted Sidney Poitier for dinner at his home. When police stopped Poitier outside, Widmark intervened and scolded the officers. Throughout his career on stage and screen, he showcased his talents in various roles while advocating for justice and equality. Richard Widmark played Ben Caxton in Against All Odds alongside Jeff Bridges, who won an Academy Award, and James Woods, both Oscar nominees themselves. He admired Spencer Tracy's acting, finding inspiration in Tracy's performances. In Kiss of Death, Widmark portrayed the menacing Tommy Udo, leaving a lasting impression on audiences with his chilling performance. During a crucial scene with Mildred Dunnock, safety measures were in place to ensure everyone's well-being. However, due to a cameraman's error, the scene had to be reshot, highlighting the challenges of filmmaking. Widmark's versatility as an actor shone through in each role he took on, earning him admiration from both audiences and peers alike. His impact as a Hollywood icon continues to be felt in the industry to this day, with his work immortalized on the silver screen. This information was, 